What is going on guys? My name is Pakazak and today I am going to do a little quick tip. Um, I'm going to do, a f I think I'm going to try and do a few of these quick tips, quick tip videos. Um, and today uh, we're going to talk about the cut feature in uh, the, um, the channel rack window. And it's, a lot of people don't know about this and uh, I didn't really, I don't really use it to its full potential that often, but, uh, in like in certain cases, certain cases, you can just, uh, right click whatever, um, instrument you have here. What was going on? Okay. That's weird. Uh, you can right click and then click cut itself, or you can click cut self right here. And what that does is when an instrument plays, when an instrument hit happens, it'll play fully until the very next hit of the instrument again. And then it'll cut that first, the rest of that first sound of that first hit and just start that new hit of the next sound. So if you have something like a bass or like low frequency like this, you can uh, click cut itself. And this way you won't have um, leftover um, uh, low frequency oscillations that are going to conflict with the new, um, oscillations and get like weird phase problems. So it'll sound like this. It'll just start a whole new oscillation rather than having the first, the previous oscillation carry over. If you didn't click cut self and it'll sound like this. See, it got a little bit louder on the second hit because, uh, just the phase lined up to cause um, constructive interference. I think that's what it's called. When it, uh, when the phase issues of two sounds add up to make a louder sound. And um, so that's that. And uh, but what you can also do is you can do uh, you can change like instruments and set them to govern other instruments and you can change uh like you can set this instrument so when this instrument happens let me go to the first pattern so you can set for like whenever this instrument hits it'll be shut up it'll <laughs> it'll be it'll be told to shut up by this instrument and how you do that is you do the cut and the cut by so cut which group and then cut by which group. So you can just go ahead and just set this to one and that'll be what you set here, cut by. So you're setting this instrument to one and then you're setting this instrument to two, but you want this instrument to be cut by one. So seeing as this is one, whenever I play this sound, this hit right here, when this next hit happens, this one will be quiet. So let's give it a listen. See how it, this usual sound is longer, by the way. Uh, it's like that. So as you can see, when I play the sound, as soon as this one hits, this is no longer happening. See? And, uh, and then I set up a couple different ones. I set up a, I put in the same exact instrument here again, but I, it, I made it to uh, be cut by the first one. And uh, see, this is two, and I'm having this one being cut by two. So where this one happens, it'll last all the way. It's not being cut by this one like this one is. It'll last all the way until this one hits again, which is here. So listen to the whole pattern. So you can just kind of route things different ways and, uh, you know, create some cool sounding, sim cool sounding things very simply. And, uh, yeah. So I hope this video wasn't too long. I didn't, I want <laughs> don't want to make these videos too long just cause they're kind of quick little tips, but, uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Oh my God, my computer's dying. And, uh, <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.